So I suppose that means your lead on Gabby and Chad didn't pan out. Dead end. By the way, did you have any luck in finding out about the key? Okay, not yet, but I do have a person at the Spectator who's trying to find out what Jennifer Horton was doing on the dock the same night the shipment came in. Huh? So far, nothing, but... Anybody guess? For a stroll along the pier? Jennifer must be playing reporter again. She had to know something about the key and how it operates the new device. She must have known it was part of that shipment. She had to know about Chad because of Abigail. What the bloody hell is my coffee? Okay, listen. I don't think you need any more caffeine. Uh, you understand that Deimos is threatening to torture Chad and Gabby. Would you prefer if I were Mella? Oh, stop. Stop. I'm just as worried about them as you are. Also waiting to hear what the judge decides about hope. Andre, I think it's going to be difficult to uphold a murder conviction when the victim is running around alive and well. I think you need to prepare yourself. Hope may go free. You may be right. But she has other things to atone for. I think I can nail Andre. What'd you find out? Well, I was finally able to hack into the accounting program that Hattie's company used. And? And, well, remember that footage I showed you of her ex-boyfriend, Alfie, showing up at the office to take her on a date? Which was obviously Andre. But it was also the same day the holding company's computer system was hacked into. Millions of dollars were stolen from their operating account and transferred to a shell corporation in Bermuda and then to a Swiss bank account. Which could be a coincidence. No, it's not a coincidence. Because the account belongs to Demira Enterprises. Okay, and maybe you can nail No, it, hold on, Eric. <laughs> There's more. The money was then withdrawn by someone using Andre's user ID. You can prove that. Mm-hmm. Hope you're good. I'm gonna clear Hattie's name. I just pray that Rafe and Steve can clear mine. Any luck tracking down Shane and Steve's flight? Well, no, because I don't have a flight number. The last I knew, they left after Rafe, and that's it. I mean, it's not gonna be a very exciting wedding if the groom doesn't show up. Oh, honey. I did that to you. No. Yes, you wouldn't. Uh -huh. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetness. <laughs> Thank you. How about we get married? How about it? <laughs> I love that. You know, I don't want to put a damper on this, but some people think it's unlucky for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. Uh, we don't care about any of that, do we, baby? Hell, we know. No. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll get back to you, mate. Thanks. So, Kimberly sends a love. Oh, thank you, thank you. Is that her on the phone? Uh, no, that was just someone I thought might know where uh, where Hope is, but I was wrong. So where's Rafe? He's still at the courthouse waiting for the decision. Oh. Yeah, we don't even know if Hope knows that her conviction is up for review. Well, if she's not there, it could negatively impact the judge's decision. Rafe. Rafe. What happened? The conviction's been reversed. What? Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's so